Hey guys, so we're currently here at Cha Time. Just got myself a roasted pearl milk tea with the coffee jelly. Super good. Quick story, um, I actually, first time I tried Cha Time was actually in uh, Seoul, South Korea, so not even in Edmonton or anything like that, but we have one here now, so um, yeah. We're just gonna go grab some food and uh, introduce you to something special that we're doing today. Okay, so the special thing, this is gonna be the most expensive camera we, I've ever got my hands on and that we've ever tested. You guys ready? Ready? Ta-da, the Leica M10P. So, uh, some features on this M10P. Pretty much the same sensor, same Maestro 2 processor as the Leica M10 already. A few changes that you'll notice maybe like aesthetically. First of all, you don't have the classic red button anymore. It's a little bit more discreet as well as there's a new mechanical shutter on this one. So it's supposed to be the most quiet mechanical shutter Leica or any other manufacturer has ever produced. Pretty neat stuff. And also, it's the first Leica M series with a touchscreen. So you can actually uh, double tap and it'll zoom in and you can actually fine tune your focus that way as well too, which is pretty cool. On top of that, there's actually Wi-Fi in this now too, which is neat. There's actually also a new electronic leveler. So now, why would someone get a Leica M10P? Why would someone drive a manual car of an automatic? Uh, why would someone drink uh, aged wine over box wine? Let me show you. So in the modern age, this essentially is a seamless blend of old and new, a juxtaposition of film cameras and, uh, and the modern day digital cameras as well. I'll show you how the experience is on the Leica. You get that really film-like experience in a digital body. Um, even if you guys remember the older cameras, the M6, M3s, the original M series, how you would load film in. So this is essentially the same experience uh, loading the, I guess, uh, digital film, the SD card, and uh, battery in there. So the top plate just comes off. And essentially my digital film goes right in there. And then the battery goes in there as well. Oops. There you go. And we close that top plate up. Just like you're putting that spool back in, uh, essentially from the old film cameras, and lock that down, and we are ready to start shooting, basically. It's fully manual. There's no autofocus. There's no video features or any video at all capabilities in this camera. Everything is very tactile, very mechanical even the uh, little lever here. It's a new ISO dial, which is pretty sweet. You can even leave it on auto ISO or set your ISO mechanically as well, your shutter speed, and a beautiful clicky aperture ring as well, and your focus. The great thing about Leica is essentially what you're getting is the essentials. All you would need to make a great fine art photograph. Another thing I need to note about uh, the Leica M10s, uh, especially the digital ones, this is essentially the most simple menu out of any manufacturer currently today. You pretty much just have all your basic kind of tabs here and essentially main menu and that essentially is your menu. Everything is very straightforward, very straight to the point and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's no, not much really digging and diving through the entire menu setup. Everything is very in your face. It's just right there. So this being a fully manual camera, having the last few weeks, I essentially just use it. This is probably one of the most uh, intimate, essentially photographing experience out of any camera I've ever used. Um, essentially, it's same like driving a standard transmission or a stick shift car. 
um, just feeling every gear as you're rowing through your shift knobs, just feeling the car, just able to downshift and just having full control of your car. It's, it's, it's something about this camera. I feel like I have full control of everything. Everything is on you with this camera to make a great image. Oh, quickly to note also, um, to give myself a bit more of a film-like experience, I've actually put it in, uh, inserted a two gigabyte card. And according to this, it gives me exactly 37 shots. So it feels like I'm shooting a roll of film. So let me put my back plate back on and uh, let's go have a film-like shooting experience in a modern digital body. Oh, as you can see right now, I am shooting a monochrome and I'm actually showing you guys the leveler as well that they implemented. New on this M10. And, oh, I'm too far. Green, there you go. Now I should be level. There we go. <laughs> oh, let's play with some bouquet. This is actually, this is quite beautiful actually. Yeah. So I have to wait to cross. <gasps> oh, it's so cool. So new for this Leica is a touch screen here so I can double tap in and it goes in and I can actually fine-tune my focus a little bit as well too as using the peaking lines and of course with this Leica you can basically patiently fish your uh, subject out on the street it's still saving to the <laughs> so Alan I've got uh, 25 shots left on the two gigabyte car it feels like you're shooting film <laughs> of course you can as a touch screen you can actually move your focus point and fine-tune it from there So as mentioned earlier, uh, there's a redesigned shutter mechanism as well. Um, at the end of the video, we'll post a bunch of different sounds from the Leica like, M10P and a few different sounds from a few other full frame cameras and uh, kind of show you the comparison between the uh, shutter sound. Okay, cool. So just some final thoughts on this Leica M10P, just from what I've used so far. I um, have a two gigabyte memory card in here, so it gave me kind of like 37, 36 shots. So I went, pretended like I was like kind of shooting films, kind of walking around. What I found using this camera was like everything was very manual, fully manual. So I had like you know, aperture, I had to focus myself, almost had to like pick. And it almost like makes you, force you to almost like stop, look and wait for the scene first before you take the shot. It's almost like it makes, it, it opens your eyes in a way. So as a, as a photographer, my eyes are now, I feel like more open. <laughs> I will admit though, 18000 is a lot of money for a camera, but uh, I have to say overall, I think it's worth it. It's kind of like, sure, I could show buy another camera and probably get the same results or edit and make it look the same, but very few cameras give you this sort of um, level of kind of like feel and control and that tactility and, uh, and just, it just feels very rugged and it's very um, industrial like it just just a brick. It's, uh, it just feels very solid. It doesn't feel cheap. Well, it shouldn't be since it's 18,000, but overall I'd say pretty happy. They're pretty impressed. The black and white, so I'm actually shooting a monochrome mode the whole time here. Yeah, it's not the true, it's not the Leica M monochrome camera, but even the monochrome mode, I think it's quite beautiful. The, the tonalities you get from the blacks to the brights, it's, uh, it's uh, one of the nicest monochrome modes I've ever seen, actually. And I've actually just been shooting in monochrome mode. Obviously the RAWs won't be in monochrome, but yeah, I've been pretty happy with the JPEGs out of this camera too, so. But overall, I'm very impressed with it. I think it's a camera made for people. You have to really, really love photography. And thanks for joining us again as I got to play around with this Leica M10P. And comment and like if you like what you see. And uh, subscribe for more videos. This one is the Leica M10P. This one is the Canon 5D Mark IV. This one is the Nikon Z6. Nikon D810. A7 III.
Panasonic G9.